What's up guys? I bet you're wondering what these cups are here for. They're for a magic trick. But anyways, I'm going to tell you what they're really for in a second, but first I just want to tell you about this new show in USA uh, about undercover agents. And I just have to say that if I were an agent of some sort, I think I would go for the magician secret agent hybrid. I feel like that would just be the coolest combination in all of existence. Just those skill sets combined. I don't know, that's just me. But that's the type of deception that you will see on USA's new show, Graceland. It's a show where agents from FBI, DEA, and other places come together and try to get by. So check out a clip. Why did you do I'm a teacher. I'm trying to make him on the PGA Tour. A service with the 316th Quartermaster Company. You are now an undercover agent on your lies are your life. Graceland, a new original series, premieres Thursday, June 6th at 10 on USA. If you're like me, you'll be tuning in on June 6th at 10, 9 central on USA Network to, uh, to watch the premiere episode of Graceland. USA already has three of my favorite shows, uh, Burn Notice, White Collar, and Suits. All amazing shows. This looks fantastic too, so I can't wait. If you want to see a five-minute sneak preview, check out the link in the description and, um, and tune in. But now it is time to get into why I have these 13 cups set up on this table. Um, and actually, there is an egg inside one of these, and I'm going to be smashing some cups, so let's hope I don't make scrambled eggs out of this, uh, but let's go ahead and get into the trick. So I have 13 cups set up here, and there's an egg underneath one of these cups. Your job is to pick a number between 3 and 12. It could be a lucky number, a favorite number, or just a random number. Um, once you have that number, I want you to count from the star. So. Say it was seven, you would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, landing you on the seven numbered cup. Pretty self explanatory. I'm going to show you now what happens to the cups that you don't pick. So, no egg, and that's a good start, but let's uh, make it a little harder as we continue narrowing it down. So, you should have um, a selected cup right now that you are on. I want you to count backward the same number that you counted to get there. So for example, if you um, landed on the number 12, you would count 12 counterclockwise. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So whatever number you landed on, count that number backwards. Once you have landed on a new cup, stay there. Um, for now, I'm going to get rid of a few more cups. and. Thankfully, there are no eggs, and hopefully, you didn't land there. Um, so you should be on one cup right now. Um, I want you to count either uh, forwards or backwards for places, skipping over these two um, missing cups. So, for example, if you had the three selected, you would pick one, two, three, four, landing you on the eight. You can go. Uh, Clockwise or counterclockwise, that's up to you. Um, but whatever you land on, this is your new and final selected choice. And you should be on a cup, and now it's time to eliminate a few more cups. And we have no egg mess on this table, which is good for me because it saves me cleanup time. And actually, there's no egg under there either and we have three cups left, and you didn't choose this one, and there's no egg there, and you also didn't choose this one, because the egg is right here, where you selected it. That is the trick, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, guys, you ready for the secret? The secret is 13 eggs. No, I'm completely kidding. Uh, you just need one egg, you can use 13 cups, you could use 13 cards, you could use pretty much 13 of every anything, um, this is not originally how I learned this trick, I just kind of um, uh, made up the idea of cups. You can do whatever you want, be creative with it. Um, but the secret to this occurs the second time you're counting. Uh, that's the big secret. So, you have, um, a, you have a person select a number, and you can have multiple people select numbers, because it'll always work. Um, so they select a number between 3 and 12, and let's say they pick 7, or let's say they pick eight or nine, it doesn't matter because once you eliminate the first three, you're left with this circle, right? 
and they're going to count back the same number um, that they're on. So if they're on seven, they're going to count seven back. If they're on eight, they're going to count eight back. That's the secret. It's going to land them on the tenth cup, no matter what um, number they picked. So from there, everybody uh, who chose a number is going to be on the same spot, and you know that it's going to end up with the egg being under the fifth position. So from here, you just have to um, do a couple moves, try to do a little bit of persuasion to make them think that they really have a free choice. Um, you eliminate two cups now, you eliminate 11 and 6, so you take these out of the position, then you have them skip over these two and go either um, four positions clockwise or four positions counterclockwise. No surprise here, but um, no matter where they go, clockwise or counterclockwise, it's going to end them up on the same position, which is 5, because they're going to go from 10, and they're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's going to land them on the fifth one. From there, you just kind of build up the suspense, and you start smashing cups and until you're left with 2, and then you go for the, you go for the 5, and then the last second you change your mind and you smash the other one, and you reveal that the egg is still intact. Um, it's a great trick, um, because the spectator has the choice from the beginning and based on just the, the subtleties and the way you say things and you give them choices they think that they really um, that you really somehow either read their mind or I mean they don't think that but you know um, it's a great trick it's a lot of fun uh, try to use the cups if you want use cards make up some cool things actually uh, I would love to see what you guys could come up with if you post video responses I will approve them in a second of um, of cool variations of this, so let, let me see what you guys can do. Um, it's a great trick. If you have any questions about it, please comment. I'll be happy to answer. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you uh, in my next video.